We looked at the use of a novel agent, cetuximab, in combination with chemotherapy for patients with resected colon cancer that had lymph node involvement where there was a high risk of recurrent disease to better understand if adding a targeted agent, cetuximab, to chemotherapy would help to increase the benefits of adjuvant therapy. We found in that trial, much to our surprise, that the addition of cetuximab to chemotherapy did not provide additional benefit over the chemotherapy alone. This was a surprise given that with patients who have metastatic cancer, there was evidence that adding cetuximab in appropriately selected patients added a significant benefit in controlling the cancer. Therefore, there was every expectation that using cetuximab with chemotherapy in the adjuvant setting would have provided meaningful benefit to patients. Unfortunately, we did not see that in this trial. With a clinical trial of this size, we often have methods to review the results as they're coming in to determine if we see an early signal to suggest that there is clearly a benefit or clearly a lack of benefit that we're able to stop the trial earlier and therefore not expose patients unnecessarily to treatments that may not be a benefit to them. In this particular trial, after we had enrolled many of the patients, an in interim analysis showed that there was a lack of benefit to the addition of cetuximab. Given that, we were able to stop the trial earlier than planned and notify patients and their physicians of the lack of benefit. The addition of cetuximab did add some potential harm in the sense that cetuximab has side effects to it. If the drug is not benefiting patients, the addition of cetuximab created additional side effects. There was also some very subtle hint that it was slightly lowering the benefit of chemotherapy and again emphasized our need to halt the trial at that point and notify patients of the lack of benefit and to encourage both the patients and their physicians to stop cetuximab if patients were still receiving that drug. For the patients, it was clear that the most important thing was to complete chemotherapy as we normally would for adjuvant therapy. Beyond that, I think it's very important for us to understand why this trial was negative and that there was no benefit to cetuximab. In that regard, it's very important for us to continue to have follow-up of the patients that were enrolled to also use the information that we collected as part of the trial to look back and try to determine why cetuximab did not work in this setting where it does in patients with metastatic disease. I think the key takeaway for physicians really is that clinical trials continue to be very important for us to understand the benefits or lack of benefits of the treatments that we use. It's very easy sometimes to try to translate the results of a trial in the metastatic setting to the adjuvant setting. We've clearly learned with drugs like arenatecan in the past that to use the information that we've learned from metastatic disease does not benefit patients in the adjuvant setting. This is yet another example where it's very critical that we continue to conduct clinical trials to make sure that we're providing appropriate care for our patients. It's becoming more and more evident that we need to be able to look at patient or tumor characteristics to better understand the treatments that we use rather than treating everybody as though they have exactly the same disease. In that regard, we did carefully look at subgroups of patients and found that there were no subgroups that clearly were benefiting from the treatment. More importantly, I think we have now the ability to look at subgroups in this clinical trial to better understand outcomes in regard to treatment in general. In particular, this trial included a large number of patients that were older that had not been included in previous trials to this degree. This allows us to more specifically focus on some subgroups such as older patients and better understand how they tolerate treatment and how to now design newer trials that may more specifically focus on those subgroups. Clearly, as we all age, our tolerance of treatment begins to decline. In this trial, for various reasons, we were using an age cutoff of 70 and older to define older patients. Uh, clearly, there's a spectrum there. It's not a hard and defined point in time, but using cutoffs such as age 70 allows us to more 
carefully look at younger versus older patients and begin to define some of the factors that influence patients' ability to tolerate therapy. The critical findings of this trial were that the addition of cetuximab to chemotherapy did not benefit patients in the adjuvant setting despite the evidence of benefit in metastatic disease. It's therefore very important that we continue to look at other treatment options to improve adjuvant therapy as we move forward. It's still very important to conduct clinical trials and while there's a lot of work both for the physicians and patients enrolled in clinical trials, they're critical to our advancement of care of patients with cancer. In that regard, we all have to work to try to make trials more accessible to patients and their physicians and to make them truly something that allow us to advance our science and care of patients.